The Divine Mercy Stations of the Cross with Conversations from the Diary of St. Faustina. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. First Station. Jesus is Condemned to Death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus to St. Faustina. Do not be surprised that you are sometimes unjustly accused. I myself first drank this cup of undeserved suffering for the love of you. When I was before Herod, I obtained a grace for you, namely, that you would be able to rise above human scorn and follow faithfully in my footsteps. St. Faustina We are sensitive to words and quickly want to answer back, without taking any regard as to whether it is God's will that we should speak. A silent soul is strong. No adversities will harm it if it perseveres in silence. The silent soul is capable of attaining the closest union with God. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Second Station Jesus Takes Up His Cross We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Do not be afraid of sufferings. I am with you. The more you will come to love suffering, the purer your love for me will be. Jesus, I thank you for the little daily crosses, for opposition to my endeavors, for the hardships of life, for the misinterpretation of my intentions, for humiliations at the hands of others, for the harsh way in which we are treated, for false suspicions, for poor health and loss of strength, for self-denial, for dying to myself, for lack of recognition in everything, for the upsetting of all my plans. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Third Station. Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. My daughter, write that involuntary offenses of souls do not hinder my love for them or prevent me from uniting myself with them, but voluntary offenses, even the smallest, obstruct my graces, and I cannot lavish my gifts on such souls. O oh my Jesus, how prone I am to evil, and this forces me to be constantly vigilant. But I do not lose heart. I trust God's grace, which abounds in the worst misery. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins, and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Fourth Station Jesus Meets His Mother We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Listen, although all the works that come into my being by my will are exposed to great sufferings. Consider whether any of them has been subject to greater difficulties than that work which is directly mine, the work of redemption. You should not worry too much about adversities. I saw the Blessed Virgin. She held me close to herself and said to me, Be courageous. Do not fear apparent obstacles but fix your gaze upon the passion of my son 
And in this way, you will be victorious. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Fifth station. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I permit adversities in order to increase merit. I do not reward for good results, but for the patience and hardship undergone for my sake. O my Jesus, you do not give a reward for the successful performance of a work, but for the good will and labor undertaken. Therefore, I am completely at peace, even if all my undertakings and efforts should be thwarted or should come to naught. If I do all that is in my power, the rest is not my business. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Sixth station. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Know that whatever good you do to any soul, I accept it as if you had done it to me. I'm learning how to be good from Jesus, from him who is goodness itself so that I may be called a daughter of the Heavenly Father. Great love can change small things into great ones, and it is only love which lends value to our actions. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, and on the whole world. Seventh station. Jesus falls a second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The cause of your falls is that you rely too much upon yourself and too little on me. Without special help from me, you are not even capable of accepting my graces. Jesus, do not leave me alone. You know, Lord, how weak I am. I am an abyss of wretchedness. I am nothingness itself. So what will be so strange if you leave me alone and I fall? So you, Jesus, must stand by me constantly like a mother by a helpless child, and even more so. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eighth station, Jesus consoles the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Oh, how pleasing to me is living faith. I desire that you would all have more faith at the present time. I fervently beg the Lord to strengthen my faith so that in my drab everyday life I will not be guided by human dispositions, but by those of the Spirit. Oh, how everything drags man towards the earth but lively faith maintains the soul in the higher regions and assigns self-love its proper place, that is to say, the lowest one. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. 
My child, know that the greatest obstacles to holiness are discouragement and an exaggerated anxiety. These will deprive you of the ability to practice virtue. I am always ready to forgive you. As often as you beg for it, you glorify my mercy. My Jesus, despite your graces, I see and feel all my misery. I begin my day with battle and end it with battle. As soon as I conquer one obstacle, ten more appear to take its place. But I am not worried, because I know that this is the time of struggle, not peace. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus was suddenly standing before me, stripped of his clothes, his body completely covered with wounds, his eyes flooded with tears and blood, his face disfigured and covered with spittle. The Lord then said to me, The bride must resemble her betrothed. Then I understood these words to their very depth. There is no room for doubt here. My likeness to Jesus must be through suffering and humility. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eleventh Station Jesus is Nailed to the Cross We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. My pupil, have great love for those who cause you suffering. Do good to those who hate you. O oh, my Jesus, you know what efforts are needed to live sincerely and unaffectedly with those from whom our nature flees, or with those who deliberately or not have made us suffer. Humanly speaking, this is impossible. At such times more than at others, I try to discover the Lord Jesus in such a person, and for this same Jesus, I do everything for such people. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Twelfth Station Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. All this for the salvation of souls. Consider well what you are doing for their salvation. Then I saw the Lord nailed to the cross. When he had hung on it for a while, I saw a multitude of souls crucified like him. Then I saw a second multitude of souls and a third. The second multitude were not nailed to their crosses, but were holding them firmly in their hands. The third were neither nailed to their crosses nor holding them firmly in their hands, but were dragging their crosses behind them and were discontent. Jesus says, Do you see these souls? Those who are like me in the pain and contempt they suffer will be like me also in glory. And those who also resemble me less in pain and contempt will also bear less resemblance to me in glory. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
13th station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Most dear to me is the soul that strongly believes in my goodness and has complete trust in me. I heap my confidence upon it and give it all it asks. I fly to your mercy, compassionate God, who alone are good. Although my misery is great and my offenses are many, I trust in your mercy because you are the God of mercy. And from time immemorial, it has never been heard of, nor do heaven or earth remember, that a soul trusting in your mercy has been disappointed. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Fourteenth Station Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. You are not yet in your homeland, so go, fortified by my grace, and fight for my kingdom in human souls. Fight as a king's child would, and remember that the days of your exile will pass quickly, and with them the possibility of earning merit for heaven. I expect from you a great number of souls who will glorify my mercy for all eternity. Every soul you have entrusted to me, Jesus, I will try to aid with prayer and sacrifice so that your grace can work in them. O great lover of souls, my Jesus, I thank you for the immense confidence with which you have deigned to place souls in our care. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, I trust in you. Concluding Prayer O oh my Jesus, my only hope, thank you for the book which you have opened before my soul's eyes. That book is your passion, which you underwent for the love of me. It is from this book that I have learned how to love God and souls. In this book, there are found for us inexhaustible treasures. O oh Jesus, how few souls understand you in your martyrdom of love. Happy the soul that has come to understand the love of the heart of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.